Hey, hey, thanks for tuning in to the Just Janice podcast. I am your host, Janice, and we know that the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. So in this joy-filled podcast, you're going to hear real-life stories from other believers. We're going to talk about the kingdom. We're going to magnify Jesus, and it's going to be awesome. So thanks for tuning in, and here we go. Hey there, thanks so much for tuning in to today's podcast episode. Today I'm going to be talking about gossip. So that is a topic that women especially, but men, you are not discluded from this, need to talk about. So we're going to talk about it today and it's a topic that can maybe step on some toes, but we're going to go there. So stay tuned and listen up. So we're going to start out by looking at a few scriptures. So we are going to be in Proverbs, and Proverbs is the book of wisdom. If you haven't checked it out, you definitely should. It's about in the middle of the Bible, or you can find it on your Bible app. Super easy. And one cool thing about Proverbs is that there are 31 chapters. So if you're looking for something to get started with reading or to add to your current reading, great place to get into because there is a chapter essentially for every day. Obviously, some months don't have 31 days, but you can kind of do a chapter of the day. So my friend Jessica taught me that, and it's a really cool thing to implement into your Bible reading. So full of wisdom because it is the book of wisdom. So we're going to read Proverbs 18.8. And Proverbs 26, 22, and they essentially say the same thing, but I'm going to read both of them. So 18, 8 says, the words of a talebearer are like tasty trifles and they go down into the inmost body. So talebearer is a gossiper. And then 26, 22, flip over here to this, and it says, one more page. 26, 22, and the words of a talebearer are like tasty trifles, and they go down into the inmost body. So there is another version that says that gossip is like choice morsels. So think about your favorite food in the entire world that you just absolutely love. Mine is definitely macaroni and cheese. If you know me, you know that. Love macaroni and cheese. So It says it's like choice morsels, so something that's really, really good, and it just feels good and tastes good. And so that's how gossip is in the moment. Like, it's kind of, it can be fun and enjoyable to talk about people or to talk about situations, Um, but (laughs) it's not good and it's not pleasing to God. And so I want to define gossip because... I think that's important. So this is a definition. If you just look up, if you ever Google, if you want to know what words mean, you can just go to Google and get a definition. And so that's where I got this from. It says casual or unconstrained conversations or reports about other people. So I definitely want to say that this is something that I've struggled with. And I think most people do in general. We can find ourselves falling into the trap of gossip uh, without even realizing it. And I have had times where I've been called out on it. So it's probably, I worked at the hospital at that point, at this point that I'm going to share. And a bunch of us were sitting around at lunch and we were talking about our boss, which was a very easy thing to talk about. And just, we were just, everything we said was true, um, but that didn't justify what we were doing in speaking ill of her. And we actually had a coworker that said, you know, I'm, I'm not going to gossip. And, and that was the first and only time that I can think of where someone actually stood up and, and refused to gossip. And it's so easy, especially as women, but men definitely aren't exempt from falling into the, the trap of gossip. And I just remember being super impressed with her boldness to stand up and say, I'm not going to gossip, even if what we're saying is true, even if what we're saying, like, 
is 100% factual. I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk poorly about anybody. And I just have this immense amount of respect for her for being willing to do that. And it's, was a huge challenge to me, like a super iron sharpening iron moment where I was like, wow, I gossip a lot and I don't even think about it. And at that point I didn't think about it at all. And so it's just been a really big challenge and something that God's walked me through the last few years of just guarding my mouth and guarding my words and not allowing myself to talk about people and just speak blessings over and about people. And so this is just something that I thought was super important to talk about. And so we're going to also talk about what we should be talking about. All right, so let's look at Ephesians 4.29, and I'm reading out of the New King James Version. Also on the previous verses, it's the New King James Version out of my study Bible. And it says, Let no corrupt word proceed from your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. And I believe it's the New International Version that says, Let no unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only what is useful for building others up. And so that's what edification is, building each other up. And it's just so important that we are careful with our words. It's so easy to just say whatever comes to our mind and to not take our thoughts captive before they spew out of our mouth. (laughs) Hello, if you know me on a personal level at all, you can testify that I have not always had victory over that. And it's still something that I have to continually surrender to the Lord and just ask him to use my voice to build people up, to speak life and not death, to speak blessing and not curses. So I just hope that this encourages you. Um, not This definitely is not something to cause shame. It's just supposed to challenge you to come up higher and just let your light shine and set a good example for Christ. And one way that we can do that is by what we allow to come out of our mouths and just using our words to build each other up and not to tear each other down. And that even includes when we're not around each other. So I just want to go ahead and close this short podcast out in prayer. And yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Father God, I thank you for the listeners on this podcast today. God, I thank you for your word. I thank you for your truth. And I thank you that you give us everything we need pertaining to life and godliness. And Lord, I thank you that you call us to a higher standard and you don't just call us to a higher standard, but God, you equip us to walk in what you called us to Lord. And so I just thank you for giving every single one of us just continued freedom in our walk with you. I thank you that you have called us to freedom and that you call us to continue in that freedom, Lord. And I just thank you for freedom from the trap of gossip, Lord. I thank you that it will not have a hold on me and it will not have a hold on any of the listeners, Lord, that want that freedom and that want to honor you and serve you. God, I thank you for your goodness and your faithfulness. And I just speak your blessings over these listeners, God. I thank you that you supply all of their needs according to your riches and glory, Lord, and whatever they're going through. God, I thank you that you're right there with them. Lord, I pray that you would just show yourself strong on their behalf, God, that you will be faithful because that's who you are, God. I thank you that you're a good, good father. I thank you that you have good in store for all of us, Lord, and I just pray that we will guard our guard our words, Lord, that we'll guard our lips, God, that you will continue just to do a mighty work in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.